The glittering Toifa, Times of India Film Awards, Ceremony in Mumbai, India was meant to be a night of celebration and recognition for the best in Bollywood cinema. However, the event took an unexpected and dramatic turn when Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, stepped onto the stage to deliver an introductory speech. Rather than the warm welcome one might expect for a member of the British royal family, Markle was met with a thunderous chorus of boos from the audience. The shocking reaction was captured on camera and quickly went viral on social media, sparking a flurry of news coverage and heated discussions. For many, it marked a stunning fall from grace for the former actress who, just a few years ago, had been hailed as a breath of fresh air for the monarchy. But before we continue, please like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell for updates. So what led to this public humiliation for Meghan Markle? And what does it say about the couple's ongoing struggles to connect with the public? When Meghan Markle married Prince Harry in 2018, she was widely celebrated as a modern, progressive addition to the stuffy British royal family. Her biracial heritage, feminist activism, and Hollywood background were seen as a sign that the monarchy was evolving to reflect the changing times. Initially, Meghan and Harry were a popular royal duo, with the public eager to embrace this new chapter. However, Cracks in their popularity began to show as they stepped back from their royal duties in 2020 and moved to California. Their tell-all interview with Oprah Winfrey, in which they made allegations of racism within the palace, further strained their relationship with the British press and public. The Toifa incident in India appears to be the latest sign that public goodwill towards the Sussexes is continuing to erode. Many see the booing as a reflection of the backlash against Meghan and Harry for abandoning their royal responsibilities and, in the eyes of some, betraying the monarchy. There's a sense that Meghan and Harry want to have their cake and eat it too, says royal commentator Emma Pierce. They want to reap the benefits of their royal status without actually doing the hard work that comes with it. I think the Indian audience was sending a clear message that they're not impressed by that. However, some have suggested that the booing may have had less to do with Meghan's standing with the British public, and more to do with her perceived disconnect from Indian culture and sensibilities. As a prominent member of the British royal family, Markle was invited to play a ceremonial role at the Toifer event. But her brief speech, which focused on the importance of storytelling and the power of cinema, was seemingly ill-suited to the raucous Bollywood extravaganza. Meghan probably didn't understand the tone and energy that the Indian audience was expecting, notes Indian film critic Anjali Sharma. They wanted high-octane performances and big, flashy announcements, not a somber lecture about the arts. Her earnest but low-key remarks just didn't land with that crowd. Furthermore, Markle's lack of familiarity with Indian culture and customs may have contributed to the negative reaction. As a member of the British royal family, she is seen by many Indians as an outsider, and one who has done little to connect with or understand India's rich heritage. There's a perception that Meghan is very much a product of the West, with little appreciation for the nuances of Indian society, says Mumbai-based journalist Priya Sharma. Her presence on that stage was seen by some as a kind of cultural appropriation. She was trying to insert herself into a space she didn't truly belong in. Of course, not everyone agrees with this assessment. Some argue that the booing was simply a reflection of Markle's polarizing public image, rather than any specific cultural factors. Let's not kid ourselves, Meghan is a hugely divisive figure, and a lot of people in that audience were probably booing her for political reasons, not cultural ones, says royal commentator Emma Pierce. She's become a lightning rod for all sorts of grievances, both reasonable and unreasonable. This incident is just the latest example of that. Regardless of the precise reasons behind the booing, the Toifa incident has undoubtedly dealt a blow to Meghan and Harry's public standing.